Good day, everybody. My name is David Chien Brown, the CEO of Afso TV. I'm a gospel film, a movie director, an actor, producer, and a writer. What we do on this channel is promoting godly values. We create movies, talk shows that edify God and promote what God actually wants in the family. What we do is family. Subscribe to this channel, like our movies, and also click on the notification bell for you to be able to receive updates as new videos drop. Thank you. God bless you. Check my spirit to be sure that what I'm about to say is true. The response has always been the same. <sighs> Sophia, I love you. I want you to marry me. That's not possible. What do you mean? You heard me, Tony. I can't marry you. I'm sorry if this is not what you're expecting me to say. It's okay. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Tony. Yes, Pastor. I don't understand. Sir. She said she cannot marry me. Tony. Yes, sir. What is the relationship between what Sophia told you and what you said God told you? There is no correlation at all. Then, there is no valid reason for you to give up on this issue. This is the time for you to pray more. Do you understand? Yes. Sir. Pray more. Yes, sir. Then let us pray. Yes, coming. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. You can have your seats. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. 
Sophie, what is happening? I don't understand, sir. I mean, you're not saying anything about changing your marital status. Or is it that brothers are not coming? No, sir. Then what's the problem? There is nothing, sir. No, 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 you can't say there's nothing. Then why haven't you brought him to me? There is no one yet, sir. What? But you just said brothers didn't stop coming. Yes, sir. Sophia, there's something you're not telling me yet. What is the problem? Sophia? Sophia! Now, Sophia, tell me exactly what is happening. have to face the reality. Reality? Yes. B but, how do I tell him? Anyhow, just make sure you are saying the truth. Ah, the truth, Becky. How will he be it? You don't have to bother yourself about his response to it. If he truly loves you, it will show in his response. What is the problem? You've been keeping to yourself since we got here. Can you please just tell me the reason why we are here? After all, you arranged this meeting. Tony, do you know why I told you I can't marry you? No. I felt maybe you're already in a relationship. <laughs> relationship? Is that strange? I called for this meeting because I have something important to tell you. Really? I'm listening. I come from a poor family. My parents could not afford more than my first tuition in the university. So I got a job as a cleaner in an hotel through one of my roommates. Sophia, that is the path God has ordained you pass through. Everybody have one story or the other to tell. It came to a time when my salary could no longer take care of my needs. I... You what? I went into prostitution. Gee? You? A prostitute? That was before I came to know our Lord Jesus Christ.
Will you still love me? Tony, do you still want to marry me? was his response. He walked away. You mean he didn't say a word? No. Becky, I saw this coming. That was the reason I told him initially that getting married to me will seem impossible. Or oh, each man will know that the lady he wants to get married to was once a prostitute. I mean a street worker and still go ahead to marry her. It is better to die in truth than to live in lies and deceit. Therefore, there is now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Sophia, have your seat. Have your seat, come on. If God has not condemned you, then who is that person that is capable of condemning you? I went into prostitution. Ye? You? A prostitute? No! 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 Why? No! But your word says, can a son ask for bread from his father? And he will be given a stone. Ah. Can a son ask for fish? And for a fish be given a serpent? Ah. Can he ask for an egg? I'll be given a scorpion. Ah. Ah. Why now? Ah. But you said if these evil fathers cannot do all these things to their children, how much more you? Our oh, Heavenly Father. But for me, reverse is the case. I ask for a wife. You are giving me a prostitute. A call girl. A street worker. Aha! Uh -huh. What is my offense? What is my offense? Why should mine be different? Why? Why? Sir, I have made a mistake. A mistake? Yes, sir. How do you mean? Sophia is the mistake that I made. 
Sophia? How? It is the voice of my feelings that I have mistakenly taken to be the voice of God. Is that so? Yes, sir. Tony. Tony. I feel there is more to this that you are not telling me. Tony, tell me, what's the problem? Have your seats. There is no need. I'm only here to ask just one question. What question is that? You told me you were a prostitute. Why in school? I only want to know how wide you were. My question is no more than that. Uh, but Sophia, why? Why? Why did you have to subject yourself to immorality? Why do you have to get involved in all sorts of rubbish when you were in school? Didn't you think about a day like this? Why? Sophia, why? <sighs> oh my God. Yes. Sit down and let's talk. This can't just be. You know I can't marry a prostitute. So you expect me to live with someone that I am aware she was a call girl for the rest of my life. Uh -uh. Think about it now. Think about it. Okay, okay. Let us now imagine. That my wife and I are going out one day and all of a sudden we just walk into one of our old customers. Ah 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 ah. It's not possible now. Okay, think about it. Just think about it. It can just be a reason with me now. Just think about it. Think. Ah. Lord Jesus, I didn't accept you because one day I may need a husband as a result of my reward living. I accepted you so that I can become one of your daughters. I accepted you to have a change of heart and live according to your laws. Not that Tony can marry me. But my past is haunting my present. Oh Lord.
Tony. Yes. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Sign the paper. Okay. God, I'm sorry. Please take. So now you sure you're okay? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Please help me to the other one, please. Okay. Thank you. Are you really sure, Tony? Come on, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. You say so. But you know, if you someone to talk to, I'm only You know that, right? Okay. Okay. Thanks. What is the problem? See. This is one of the evidences that your body and your mind, they are not in agreement at all. What do you want us to call this? I'm sorry, ma'am. I promise it won't repeat itself again. Fine. Agree. It won't repeat itself again. What is today? Today is Wednesday, ma'am. Wednesday? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> today is Monday. Oh, today is Monday. Sorry, ma'am. Tony, can you confine in me? Please talk to me. What is your problem? What are you passing through? You don't need to hide anything. You can talk to me. Be free. There is nothing, ma'am. Don't tell me there is nothing, Tony. You have a problem. Okay. Maybe you need to go home. Because being in the office with your mind not at work is highly costly to this company. We give you this week. Go and sort out everything you are passing through. Then when you are coming back next week, I want to see the Tony I'm used to. The Tony that is cheerful, that is hardworking. Understood? Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. Have a good day. prepared this meal for you. The way you left the office this afternoon, I was almost certain that you were not going to cook. Thank you. You're welcome. But Tony, what's the problem? That's my personal issue. Okay. Can you bring me into this personal stuff of yours? Well, maybe not now. Hello? Have you gotten home? No, no, no. Come 
Thanks for today. I never knew you were a good cook. <laughs> Come on. I don't do that. How can I say something to you to make you happy when I make contrary? Seriously, you are good. Thank you. Uh, um, Tony, do you mind me coming to your house tomorrow with your breakfast? I mean, before going to the office. Hello? Hello, Tony, are you there? Uh, yes. I said, can I come to your house tomorrow with your breakfast before going to the office? I heard you. Then why didn't you respond? I think I will be stressing you too much. That's no stress. And moreover, I can't do anything for the person I love. Anyway, thanks. It's my pleasure. See you before sunrise tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Sophia, at this junction, you just have to tell me what the problem is. Daddy, everything is fine. Don't ever tell me that everything is fine. You and I know that nothing is fine. Sophia, look into my eyes and tell me if everything is fine. Tony said he came to propose to you and you actually told him that there is no way. Sophia, what is happening? Shedding tears at this junction is not the solution. You have to open up to me. Talk to me. Tell me what is happening if indeed I'm your pastor. Ah. What is wrong with me? Tony, you are not okay. Obviously, you are not okay. And you don't have to say it. Or do you need a seer to tell you that? Hmm. Even God told Samuel that how long will you mourn for Saul since he has rejected him as king? over Israel. Hmm. Hmm. Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. For I will send you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one. Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. If I'm sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, I have chosen one. <coughs> this is what I'm talking about. This passage is self-explanatory. And I don't need a pastor to tell me that the cloud has moved. And I need to follow suits. 
God is saying something important about Lola. Oh, the cloud has moved to Lola. <laughs> The cloud has moved to your life. Finally. Good. <laughs> I knew there is something. But that is what I don't understand in particular. No wonder. He said he had the voice of his feelings. My daughter, don't allow this to disturb your relationship with God. And more so, you need to break yourself loose from guilt because Jesus has paid the full ransom for you. You are now a new being. A new breed. Jesus breed. If Tony is part of God's plan for your life, he will definitely come back. But if not, glory be to God. It is well with you, my sister. It is well with you. You are welcome. Thank you. How was the meeting? Uh, nothing special. What are we eating tonight? I wouldn't know what you may like to eat. But this is what I'm feeding on tonight. Mm? Apples? <laughs> yes. Mm -mm. That is what I want. You tell me what you want and I'll get it for you. Don't bother. Let me not stress you. What do you mean? Come on, talk to me. Or won't you eat? Mm. Okay, I'll eat complex. Alright. Let me get it for you. So, how did the meeting with your pastor go? Well, nothing special. I finally told him my past. That is good. And what did he say? He said Tony claimed it was his feelings he had and not God. All these are our brothers. So, because he has a little decision to make, God's voice has suddenly turned to the voice of feelings. I'm listening. Go on with your discussion with Pastor. He encouraged me not to allow my past stand as a barrier between me and God. That is it. God knows that we are human. And we have our limitations. He knows that we inherited the nature of sin. That is why he sent his son Jesus to die for us. Hmm. And he said, For as many that have received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. God knows that we have our past, but he never sees us in our past. Instead, 
He sees us in the righteousness of his son, Jesus Christ. But if you are not careful enough, Satan will use our past, which God has forgiven us, to haunt our present and the glorious future that God has for us. Most importantly, Satan's aim is to make us lose our fellowship with God. Sophia, your fellowship with God is the main thing. Tony is by the way. Hello, Lola. How is office? Well, the usual routine now. You know the way everybody runs around when it's time for the external auditor's visit. You know the process now. Oh my God. That means I may be called to the office tomorrow. Or what do you think? Well, you may and you may not. Wait a minute. But the manager said you're not expected to be at the office until Monday. Yes, that was what she said. And she won't call you. You know she's a woman of our words. And if at all they need your attention, somebody will be sent to your place. It's okay. That's just by the way. I called to thank you for the breakfast this morning. I never knew you were a good cook. Yeah. I would love to continue eating these delicacies. Okay, so should I take that as a proposal? Mm. Anyway, um, we'll talk about that when I come to your place in the evening. I have to go now, I have some work to do. Okay, take care. Yeah, you too. Bye. I think I'm in love with this lady. Hello, Tony. Hello, mommy. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Sorry I missed your call. Yes, I called earlier. But where are you? I'm at home. What happened? Why didn't you go to the office? Nothing much, mommy. I just need some rest. Oh, all right. Are you actually resting? Sure, mommy. Tony, my heart has been heavy since yesterday evening. But I can't really say this is the reason. But something kept coming to my heart. What could that be, mommy? Mm, it's like there's a particular lady God gave to you. But you are not pleased with it. So you are contemplating to settle for an alternative. But all what God is asking from you is to trust Him. With all your heart, trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Today, all what God needs from you is to trust Him. Please trust this lady. Thank you, Ma. I will speak with you some other time. Okay, don't forget. Trust the Lord. Bye. 
ओके माँ थैंक यू I know you won't listen. Why are you so heady on this issue, Tony? What is the big deal in what Sophia said? You are not thankful enough that she told you. Assuming she is one of those ladies around, you would have gotten married to her before you know anything. That is if you know at all. Tony, my advice is that you go back to her before another man gets her. If that should happen, you'll be the greatest loser. God, God, what you are asking of me to do is beyond my ability. It's beyond what I can bear. Why should it be me? Why? <laughs> God, <laughs> why can't I have my way? <laughs> Just this once, God. Just this once. This once. <laughs> Remember. Remember. His way is not our way, neither is thought our thought. The Lord said, My thought towards you is not of evil, but of good, to give us hope and the future. What it requires is to trust and obey.
I arranged this meeting because there is something important I need to tell you. The last time we met eh, I walked out on you. I don't want you to also do the same. I don't want you to walk out on me today. But instead, I want you to walk into my life. And I want you to also know that I am ready to make your past our past. Sophia, please marry me. Father, I thank you for the life of your children, the ups and downs that they have been through, and your mercy that has sought them. The ability to be able to do your will is a thing. At this time, Lord, I commit them into your hands that you journey with them. Oh Lord, I therefore declare this courtship open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Was your course of study? Food science technology. Mm, that is a good course. Thank you, Ma. Did you attend the same church with him? Yes. As Tony told you that he has two elder ones. Yes, he did. A brother and a sister. That is true. But we lost the lady two years ago in motor crash. I set my condolence, ma. Our joy is that she knew Christ before she died. But thank God, God has given me another daughter. Sophia, I'll be expecting you for long.
Mom, are you expecting any visitor? Yes, Samson is coming this evening. Okay. I go to civil service when the salary was 150 naira. What? What would that buy? Oh, my daughter. It was big money at that time. Uh. <laughs> oh, my brother. Tony, Tony. My brother. How are you? I'm fine, sir. You are looking good. Thank you. Wow, it's nice seeing you. Yeah, my pleasure too. Mm. You don't go to work? Yes, I have started my annual leave. Where's mom? I'm in the kitchen. Oh. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> wow. Good afternoon, mom. Uh, good afternoon, my son. How has your day been? Thank God, not bad. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sam, this is Sophia. Tony's fiancé. Ah, Sophia. You're welcome to our family. Thank you, sir. Tony has said so much about you. Is that? Yes, sir. Sam is my firstborn. How is your wife? She's fine, ma. Wow. Yes, brother. Your fiance is from where? She's from Ebony State. But her mom resides in Undo State. I see. What about her dad? Hmm. Her dad is late. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Which school did she attend? She attended Edo State University. Those are not my roots. But she looks familiar. It is possible. She had her NYSC here in Ibadan. And ever since then, she had not gone back to Undo State. You could have come across her here in Ibadan. Yeah, maybe. But brother, are you sure everything is alright? No problem at all. Huh? Yeah. Mom, 
Yes, my dear. I want to be on my way. Ah, so fast. When will you come and greet me? Ah, honestly, I don't know. You know the nature of my job. Okay, but tell your wife that when will she come and greet me? Ah, okay. I'll deliver your message. Okay, thank you, my dear. Sophia. Sir? I expect Tony to bring you to my house soon. Okay, sir. Alright, Tony. Brother! Yeah. Thank you. See me up, see me up. Okay, bye bye, my dear. Yes, mom. For me. We were together since last night and uh, I didn't bother to ask of your name. That's not necessary. What you needed is what I've given you. Yeah. That's why I gave you what you needed too. Honestly, you're good. If you don't mind, I'd like to be on my way now, so you can start your day. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Um, uh, Come closer. Um, suppose I go to where I met you yesterday, and I want to pick you for another day. Uh, who will I ask of? Ask of Sof. Sof, S O F. Oh, okay, okay, better still. Um, um, let me have your number. <laughs> I don't do that, sorry. Oh, this lady is good. No, no, no. I said it. Sof? This can be Sophia. Tony cannot marry this girl. The public says pity in our family. I won't allow it to happen. Hello, my brother. Ah, uh, Tony, where are you? Uh, I'm still with mommy. All right. You have not gotten a wife. Sir? Tony, you heard me. Hello? Hello? Tomorrow is Saturday. And it's work free day for you. Therefore, you are spending the night with me. Oh. If Tony wants to go, he's free to go. But for you, I am not releasing you. You go nowhere. You are staying with me till tomorrow. Mommy. I didn't tell my friend I will come home tonight. Then call her. Tell her you are staying with me till tomorrow. Mommy. Eh, okay. We have to be on our way now. Huh? If you want to go, go. But for Sophia, you stay with me till tomorrow. Mommy. She will come and meet you some other time. Tony, what's the problem? Sophia, be fast with it. that it's disturbing you. It's nothing serious. Okay. Where did Uncle Sam tell you on the phone? 
Sophia. Don't worry. It's nothing. I shouldn't worry. Let me worry. Okay. I will tell you. Uh, but not now. Tony, when exactly will you tell me? Sophia, I told you I will tell you. Uh, but not now. So, don't press on. Okay. Brother, I don't understand what you told me yesterday. What did I do not understand? Why did you say I cannot marry Sophia? You can't just marry her. Without any reason? Must I give you one to stop you from marrying her? Of course, yes. Okay, Tony. You see, if you care to know, Sophia is a prostitute. <laughs> hmm. Is that all? But how did you know that? No, you can't be asking me a question now. If you doubt me, just ask her. Confront her. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to believe what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Tony? What are you thinking? Just ask her. And if she denies, Tell me, I will confront her. You cannot marry a prostitute. Not in my lifetime. Okay, brother. I'll see you some other time. Thanks, dear. Where is Becky? Ah, uh, she went to the market. All right. How's your day been? Not bad. Just a little challenging. Yeah. Hey, uh, thank God you're here now. Have you ever come across my brother before? I don't think so. But why did you ask? Nothing. Just that he claimed you look familiar. Mm. I can't remember ever seeing him anywhere before. Really? Uh, but please think. Maybe where you were serving. Going from one office to the other in search of job. Or maybe when you were... While I was what? Never mind. Okay. But why are you so particular if I have met Uncle Sam before? Is it bad for me to know if you've met my brother before? No, not at all. Okay, I'll think about the whole issue. I'll think about it. Thank you, dear. That reminds me, mommy called today. Oh, really? Yeah. How long was the conversation? We spoke for 15 minutes. I even wanted to call her back, but she refused. That's hard for you. 
She can call you almost every day. Eh? Anyway, she's really very lovely. You can say that again. Sophia, you have a call. Okay, I'm coming. Hello? This is Sam, Tony's brother. Ah, oh, Uncle Sam! I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you, sir. <laughs> So, so. I believe you have told my brother that you were once a prostitute. Sir? You want to deny that? You better don't. Because I will tell Tony myself that I have once patronized you. I just want to make it official to you that you cannot and never marry Tony. Tony will not marry a prostitute. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Oh. It's, me. it's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay, please. What happened? What did you say my brother told her? I didn't know what they discussed. But while the discussion was going on, Sophia started crying. Crying? Uh, Sophia, what did Bro Sam tell you? Mm. Oh God. Becky, mm. please excuse us. All right. My dear Sophia, what is the matter? You just need to speak to me. What exactly did my brother tell you? Come on, talk to me. It's okay. Sophia, have I ever said I'm no longer marrying you again? No. Therefore, ignore whatever anybody might have told you or whatever anybody may want to tell you in the nearest future. Whatever that will happen to this relationship will come from me and not any other person. I will handle the matter. So relax yourself and be happy. Smile. Come on. Smile. Forget it. I want to be on my way. Okay. Are you just sitting down there? Come on, see me off. Come on, Sophia. Come on. Why would you call Sophia to harass her? Did she say I harassed her? No, I only called to advise her. Period. I did not harass her. K. 
keep your advice to yourself, brother. That's an insult. <laughs> Who is marrying this girl here? After all, it's me. Let me have my way this time. Let me do what my spirit feels like doing. And you know, your wife must not hear that you patronize prostitutes. And your pastor will be glad to hear that a dicking under him is a prostitute customer that goes to a red zone joint. Tony, are you threatening me? Huh? It is not a threat. But that is what I'm going to do. You are not serious. Honestly, you are not serious at all. You are not serious at all. Ah. Huh? I agree. My beloved brother. I will see you some other time. You see, whatever you like, you can say. You can't marry that girl. You can't marry a prostitute. I will not allow you to marry a prostitute. Are there no better girls outside? Why must you marry her? Why are you bent on marrying her? You will not marry her. I don't understand Sam's interest in this matter. I wonder. Tony, have you prayed for this relationship? Yes, Mom. Are you sure? Doing God's bidding of this. Mommy, I am very sure. Then, you don't have problem. Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16, that we should cease to know men after the flesh. In fact, he went further to say in verse 17, that therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature, all things have passed away. Behold, everything has become new. Moreover, four years is too much for a man to change. My dear, tell Sophia, she needs nothing to fear. Well, my brother needs to be told. Not possible, Mom. This lady is a prostitute. <laughs> For your correction, she's no longer one. Sam, what are you looking for in a prostitute zone? Uh -huh. Are you not a child of God? You call yourself a deacon in the household of God. What then are you preaching? No wonder Paul was talking to people like you. That you who teach, do you teach yourself? You that preach against stealing, do you steal? You that said one should not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You have idols, do you rob in the temples? You that boast in the law, you destroy God by breaking his law, for it is written, the name of the Lord was blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. But I have asked God for forgiveness. That is not enough. Have you told your wife? Uh -huh. How do I say that? Uh, son. You just have to tell your wife what you did is of faithfulness to your wife and to God. <laughs> I'm happy with this relationship. 
Oh, no, 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 no. My soul blesses you. I feel like praying for you. Be on your knees and let me pray for you. Thank you, sir. Oh, the Lord has been God. This is God in action. Father, thank you for your children. We appreciate you for how you have been journeying with them. Father, Lord God, even now that they are preparing for the wedding ceremony, Lord, we ask that you will favor them. Amen. All that they still need, oh, do I come and provide for them. Amen. Give over this new home will be built upon the rock. Amen. And Jesus will be the center of it all. Amen. Father, we take it. 